You're listening to D. Michael here on True Radio, the home of proper good music and proper good interviews. And tonight, we're very fortunate, as we always are every week, we have a celebrity guest, and we've got a very, very good friend of mine, and that's Junior Turner, all the way from the northeast of England, and we go back many, many years. Hi, Junior. Hi, Dean. How are you? I'm good, mate. I'm just uh, looking forward to getting out of lockdown and getting back on stage like all of us. I know, I know. It's been terrible. It's been really hard work, hasn't it? When it's in your blood that you want to sing on stage and uh, perform for people, it's really hard. It is, and uh, but um, I think uh, hopefully this is irreversible, as Boris Johnson says, and <laughs> hopefully, hopefully we're getting back to normality. That's right, that's right. We like to tell our listeners where we first met, because I have quite a few celebs on that uh, I've, we've met over the years and how we met and everything else. And we go back a long, long time. He was only a young boy at the time, wasn't he? Yeah, wow. You make us feel old now. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm 37 now. I think we met when I was about... I'd seen you for many years performing in Benidorm. Um, and I think I was about 14 when I finally plugged up the courage and said, hi, uh, Dean, is there any chance I can sing with you? And uh, you were like, what? And I said, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And um, lo and behold, uh, you gave us the opportunity and uh, 23 years later, still making a living and doing what I'm doing, here I am. It's fantastic. Yeah, we got back to Benidorm. I was in the Morgan Tavern, I believe it was, wasn't it? Yeah, you were in Morgan Tavern um, and you had your big wood cutout sign outside, big big caricature of Dean outside, Mr Benidorm. And uh, I just remember being like mesmerised when I used to watch you perform and I was like, you had like full command of the stage and stage presence. And I was like, this guy's pretty good. I want to, I want to do something like that. And uh, yeah. And I got up perform with you. And after that, there was Zodiac, Cappy Benidorm, the Wookiee Hollow, uh, yes. the Ambassador Hotel. You, uh, you yeah. was around all the time, wasn't you? It, yeah. It, it was, but you really did a great job at that. Even at 15 years old, you was a, you've got a fantastic voice. I mean, oh, that's why, why we invited you up on stage. And I mean, when we was in the Wookiee Hollow, when we used to do the Thursday nights, I think Ian, Ian invited, we were all harmonising, weren't we, together? Yeah, it was lovely. I mean, we've got many fond memories. We're just talking about, you know, different names and faces and stuff. And it's, it's just, you know, uh, priceless memories that uh, I'm so fortunate to have. And I'm always grateful and always thankful to, to yourself and obviously likes of Ian and stuff, because it's pretty much like an apprenticeship um, for me. And it, uh, it's led to where I am today. That's fantastic. And you're doing ever so well as well at the moment, aren't you? You've been recording, you've been doing some singles. and um, It goes back to 2010, um, I got the chance to record a, a single for um, Children in Need through BBC Newcastle. Um, and I recorded a, the cover of The Impossible Dream. Um, and uh, that was getting a lot of airplay and stuff. And I'd penned a, a couple of other songs. And one of those songs also got picked up along the way. And uh, next thing I know, that got released for Hell for Heroes. So uh, it kind of kept that little door open for me. And um, uh, we were penning other songs, trying to keep the, the momentum going. And um, I'd penned an album. Um, and then one of the songs on the album uh, went on to get mass recognition in America. I believe so. Well, what we're going to do, we're going to talk about that in part two of your interview in America. But let's just stay with Benidorm for a second, because I've just got another memory. When was it Cafe Benidorm? And you just brought over the backing track of, um, was it When the Going Gets Tough? Do you remember when? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Tell us a story about that. So Dean's on stage and he was singing, um, You'll Never Walk Alone. And I'm, I'm in the audience, probably at the front, no doubt, trying to catch your attention. And uh, you've kind of, signaled for me to come and join you I've joined you and then um, I've, I've sang part of that song and the song's finished he said uh, have you got some tracks with you I was like yeah yeah I've got a mini disc in the pocket and um, I had uh, just, just just in case of course yeah. and, uh, <laughs> as you do as you do yeah <laughs> I had um, it was just uh, being covered by boys on for comic relief in the UK and I had the backing track and um, you said right sing that one sing that one and uh, there I am, uh, a 15 year old little uh, boy who's like, you know, like rabbit in headlights. And um, the next thing, the dance floor just went crazy. And I just remember one of the bars staff having to lift me over. There was like little bars on the stage. That's right. Stop 
<laughs> absolutely mauled by begging blood women. And I was like, oh my God, <laughs> what is going on? But uh, oh, amazing, amazing memories. Great memories. Well, Junior, what we'll do right now, we're going to play a few songs and then we're going to come back and we're going to talk about your success in America. So, Junior Turner, thank you so much for being here with us on True Radio, the home of proper good music. <laughs> 